Good evening, everybody. My name is Joe, and I am a Weapon of Mess instruction. Today is July 3rd. I might not be able to talk to you all tomorrow, so happy Independence Day. Remember what it stands for. Remember why we have it. <clears throat> we might be celebrating a new Independence Day next year. We don't fucking know. Be that as it may, enjoy. Enjoy the reasons why this one exists. Remember it. Because it might be the best Independence Day we've ever had as a nation. It's all about today, people. I did the right thing. It hurt. <laughs> it still hurts. And it's going to keep on hurting. But you know what? Just like surgery. You got cancer, and you trust the doctor, and he says surgery is the best option. You put your life in the doctor's hands. Well, it's going to hurt afterwards for a good long while as you recover. And that's what the right thing feels like a lot of the time. If you do something and you're not sure whether it's the right thing, wait a couple minutes. If it starts hurting, you probably did the right thing probably did the right thing because it's so easy as a person as a human being to do the wrong thing what's what's something that I want when what I want is a lot of the time completely opposite of what's healthy for the people around me and that's something that I have to remember on a personal basis all the time so I've had a little bit of uh, emotional surgery. I gave her her space. I didn't crowd her. I didn't do the jealous thing, which was really no right of mine in the first place. Because remember this, boyfriends, husbands, hell, girlfriends and wives. Anybody who's in a relationship or think they might, th might be, you never, ever have any right to dictate what your significant other does, ever, under any circumstances. Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Well, yet one, one more of the many reasons why my marriage failed. And you got to take true that adage, you love someone, let them go, and if they're right for you, they'll return. You can never remember who said that, but it's so true. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm happy to have the chance to still be her friend. Now I'm going to make it a meaningful friendship. And I'm always going to do what I feel is right for her. In any capacity of mine. Just like... Just like any other person I could consider truly a friend. And they are few and far between, I must be honest. You know. There's a lot of people out there, it's hard to trust anybody. It's a little bit easier to trust people when you uh, keep yourself armed all the time. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, truly allowing your guard to open. That is a difficult thing to do, and I've done it, and uh, she did the right thing, too, by telling me how she feels, which is fine. If I'm not Mr. Right for her, well, my higher power is making everything work out just the way it's supposed to, and I just have to let go of my wants. You know? And, uh... It's my advice. If anybody needs it at this particular moment, or if anybody cares to remember it for the future, the right thing usually hurts, but it is well worth it in the end. Well worth it.
gonna circle back around and talk to her. I think she's a truther. That's all I got for you right now. I'm, I'm going to uh, have some emotional healing tonight with friends. Nothing dangerous, nothing unhealthy for me, nothing against what I believe in. So don't worry about my safety in that respect. I'm going to be all right. Everything's going to work out because of trust. Y'all stay safe. Peace.